When I met Gary Heenan for the first time, it was just a sense of swagger, a sense of here I am and you want to be a part of like what I'm doing. We're going, we're going. What I'm doing is good. I'm confident, my program's confident, what we do in this community is confident, and it's just, everything he does, he just, just a confident guy who's just always about his players and always strung around. Well, I think success, you know, gives you confidence, and uh, we achieved a, a pretty good level of success early in the program. Our fourth year of existence, we, we won the regular season championship. Um, we had an All-American, you know, I think we ended up with Rookie of the Year, Goalie of the Year that year, and, it, and it kind of, that feeds your recruiting, and, you know, and then you, you're kind of there. You know, in that fourth year, we hosted the playoffs, and, and we were over that 3,000 attendance mark for the first time, and that's where it really kind of took off, you know, and so now, 3,000 season ticket holders, um, you know, which we've capped, and and so you know the success breeds confidence, and, and it's the same with our guys with multiple you know All American awards now, and we've become a desirable place to play. There's a couple moments that stick out where you you kind of sit back and say you know this is special. The, the teddy bear toss every year is is one of those moments. You know when you put your your back against the glass just so you're not getting pelted with those bears. You just kind of look out and there's not an empty seat as you know and, and there's four or five thousand teddy bears flying over and, and that's special. I mean that's something that every college hockey program in the country would love to have and we're the ones who have it. Hey shoot this one, keep him honest. You almost come in a little nervous. Um, he, he puts you kind of in your place like hey I'm the boss but as you grow as you get older each year um, you invite him to your wedding after. And he's a guy that is known in the community, so he helps you out with other people in the community. And you get to go out and meet all new people in Utica and job opportunities. But the, the classes before, when they let you go into their group, I mean, that's special, you know? And then you're celebrating, you're getting wedding invites and, and the, the notices of having their first child and showing them pictures of their kid now playing hockey. Um, guys are doing really well in life, and that's a credit to the college. I mean, the college prepares them for life. You know, and, and the life lessons within here of leadership, being on time, being held accountable, uh, does that lead to their success in life? Of course it does. Um, so again, that culture piece is very, very important here, but uh, we've got very, very proud alumni of, of not only the hockey program, but of the call. The college has done some great things. Obviously these guys have a group text and they're probably making fun of the coach here and there, some of my mannerisms and things. And that's a good thing, you know, that's okay. Come on, woo! And so we can really sink our teeth into a young man and develop him as a, as a person, as a player certainly. Um, and that's fun to see that evolution there. So when I came in, I was 18 and a lot of the other guys were actually older than me, even the freshmen. So to come in and show me how to be men, the first thing he told me to do was cut my hair and look like a man so I went in there and I cut my hair and I've never looked back I love my hair now and just things like that he's just uh, he's almost like a father figure yeah, yeah, yeah. we practice in the mornings you know it's 10 a.m. right now those guys are in class so it, our practice schedule really suits them well the like day's done for them for hockey at 9 o'clock you know now it can be classroom it can be personal relationships all those distractions, you know, uh, it's focused on hockey when they get out of bed. And, and for that, that's worked well for us over the years. Good stick. Good the morning practices, you're like, oh, I don't want to be in the morning, but you love it. You love being around the guys. That feeling after a win and just celebrating with him and him coming in all fired up and happy for you and, and you know, telling you guys to get out of here and enjoy the win. And, you know, those are the memories you get to tell your kids about. Like this is a great opportunity. This is the best four years of your life. Uh, sit back and understand, you know, the opportunity that you have here. Uh, you know, you're playing an unbelievable building, you're playing hockey. You know, you're playing hockey at a college level, at a college, in a town, in a program that appreciates who you are. So, uh, you know, milk that for what it's worth. Did you get all the sauce passes on there? Yeah, we got all of them. Okay, good. Yeah.